Here he is. Uh, I'm with Jim Urban, the man, the myth, the legend of Wasilla. <laughs> of Wasilla. <laughs> of Wasilla. All right. And uh, I've known Jim since a, uh, what, around the time I retired, about 2000, 2001. Shortly after I got here in uh, 98. Okay. When we met. On the ski hill, working out, I think. Yeah. And... Uh, Anyway, I've done three rams, I think, for Jim over the years and some other stuff. And uh, uh, Jim Jim volunteered to come up here with me on this hunt with this. This is a toke management sheep. Uh, I've been putting in for a span of 24 years. The last sheep I killed was in 2000. I would have said I was retired. <laughs> and uh, I came out of retirement just to get this guy, and I'm telling you, I'll be hurting before we get all the way out of here, but you know what? It's really cool coming up here like this. And and, and today, Jim and I put together a textbook stock and a textbook plan from the moment we left camp. Everything we did, we, we talked about it. Um, you know, if I had an idea and he thought maybe I needed to, to try something else, he would mention that we'd just talk it over until we both agreed what was going to happen and then at the moment of uh, the moment of truth there Jim was spotting uh, my rounds for me and I was up above him about five or six feet on a knob and I took a rest with my rifle on uh, on my Gore-Tex jacket uh, not Gore-Tex but uh, my rain jacket, Helly Hansen it's rubberized, the rifle is nice and steady Helly Hansen? Helly Hansen You didn't use Sitka? I didn't use Kuyu, Sitka, REI or you did Kaparu. use Carhartt. I see Carhartt. I got Carhartt. Awesome. Yeah, it's Alaska. <laughs> and what was the shot distance? Uh, it was 265. 265. 265. So I hit him the first time. Uh, he started running actually towards us. Uh, and it, he, he didn't stumble until right towards the end of his 20 or 30 yard run. And when he stopped, I hit him again and he just dropped like a brick. So I'm very happy with this ram. I told everybody, I told Jim, I told uh, uh, the other guys I've hunted with, guys like Brian Kemmer, and, and of course uh, Jim, Ur uh, Jim Urban knew, because we talked about it quite a bit, make sure you shoot the one you want. And I came up here and got the ram I wanted. You had three other rams. Yep, three other rams, and, there, and at least one of those was full legal. He was a double-broomed, heavy-horned ram, and, I, and he was the closest one to us. I thought about taking him, but uh, Jim, Jim, he was tugging at my heart because I knew I wanted this ram more. When we saw this ram, when we got up here on this ridge this morning and saw him, this is what got him. These tips coming out, we saw that and we knew that this was the one we wanted, but I was going to settle for that other one just because he was closer and I was afraid something was going to go wrong, but everything worked out. So enough said. Congratulations on, on uh, or excuse me, thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations. on packing yeah, on, on, my ram. That's right. <laughs> Congratulations on helping me get the ram that you're going to pack off the mountain for yeah. me. I really blew that, but anyway. Uh, 62 yeah. years old. 62. Yeah. I'll be 62 in a month. So, yeah. Thanks again, Jim. I really appreciate it. Yeah, look this way over here at this camera. All right. Yeah. Turn the horns there. Yep. Yeah. 